Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to share with you guys how I customized my cap and my my stole, my like like sash for graduation. And this is just how I decorated mine, but I know there's plenty of ways to decorate your own. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get started. Okay, so this is my sash or like my stole and I'm going to use a ruler just to keep the letters straight. I took out the letters already and they were already red and the size and everything. I got them at Michael's and each packet, each one of those was like $10.99 or something like that. But the white ones, I actually wanted them to be red and they didn't have it, but I just had to work with what I had. So I just kind of spread them out in the middle. I kind of eyeballed everything, but um, I did use the ruler just to keep the same distance away. Now I did use a Sharpie to color in the white letters just to make it red. Um, it was okay in white, except that, I mean, I wanted it to be red and to all kind of match. So I just kind of had to just improvise and I used a red Sharpie marker to color it in which didn't end up looking bad at all. So I just kind of lay out the letters and they are ironed on. So I did have to get my iron and like carefully iron them. I was doing one by one at first, but I did kind of get tired of going just one by one. So here, since they were smaller and closer together, I kind of just took a chance and just ironed them all together, which is risky because you don't want the letters to move because then it will get stuck wherever they end up moving to and if you don't realize on time that's kind of gonna get ruined so after that i got the sharpie and i colored them in i didn't want to do that beforehand because i mean i didn't want to do that beforehand just in case it kind of smeared off or for whatever i just decided to do it afterwards next i'm gonna use this lace that i got from walmart i believe it was only like a buck or maybe three I'm just going to measure it, kind of eyeball it, and cut it, and then I'm going to glue it. So I did end up deciding to cut two strips just to make the like border a little bit thicker. Just one wasn't enough. And I didn't want to make more than that just because it was going to require... It was just going to cover it and be a little bit too much for me. And my sister thought it would look better with just two. So that's what I went for. It was a little bit tricky to glue it on the edges because I only put glue on the edge. Now because it is lace, I suggest to only put glue on the edges. If you put it throughout the middle, I mean it will glue it, but I think it's just going to look a little bit messy because it's going to come out through the lace and it's not going to look as nice. So you're going to probably see that it's glued on there. And this is how it kind of looked. I thought it looked really cute and this is it. So moving on to my cap, I got these letters from Michaels. They were in that graduation center area in the middle of the aisle. They had them in silver as well, but I wanted these pink ones because they kind of match my dress that I'm going to wear on graduation day. So the first thing you want to do is make sure where is the front of your cap. You don't want to put the letters the wrong way. So that is the front for me. So I'm going to be working from top to bottom. Some of those things that I used were this lace, which I believe I got from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need glue and I'm using the E6000. I wanted to make sure that the letters were going to be glued on there permanently and they weren't going to like fall off because they are just stickers. Um, I'm going to also use scissors and that's pretty much it. I'm going to start off by laying out the lace on the border of the cap and just kind of eyeball it and glue it. So after I glue that, this is how it kind of looked. It was a little bit tricky because it is like a wavy pattern and it's not completely straight. And But you can't really see the glue. I mean, you can see a little bit, but it's not extremely bad so i think i did a pretty good job next i am using pinterest as my inspiration i feel like everyone uses pinterest for in their inspiration so my quote is gonna be god is within her she will not fail and i really love this quote and i thought it was perfect for graduation i'm just gonna kind of lay them out and figure out how many words are gonna fit now even though i did record it um this way i ended up moving 
the letters lower because I chose to um, glue a bow as well. And I mean, I'm showing you right here how it looked and it looked great, except it wasn't really centered and it was bothering me. So I had to take off the God is and move it lower. But I'll show you guys right now how it ended up looking. So I got this bow from Claire's and it was like five bucks which is pretty expensive for a bow i was hoping to make my own bow but there wasn't enough time and i wasn't gonna like go and do that either since i'm not that great at making bows i covered up the glue section that i kind of messed up in the beginning because of the other words that i had already glued there so i used more ribbon to cover it up and then just glued the bow on top of that so this is basically how it ended up looking. If you guys are interested in watching the vlog, it's on my other channel. You just have to click on the screen or also click down below. I'll link it down below once it's available. I'll see you guys next hey time. Hey guys, Bye. welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about how to use multiple planners. And I just recently started doing this. Um, I've been doing it for like two months, three months. Um, 